What's going on guys, it's your boy Alan Wade back again with another dope creation for you guys. I'm excited to show you guys this one because I think you're really going to enjoy it. Before we get started guys, I'd like to say welcome to the channel, welcome to Dub Nation. It's your boy Alan Wade, aka A Dub Productions, aka A Dub. Like me and follow me on all my social medias listed right here in the screen down below. Please, I really appreciate it, need your help. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, all that stuff. Alright guys, let's just dive straight into it. You know it's football season and comment down below if football season is your favorite season of the year, is your favorite sports watching season of the year rather. But football jerseys are very, very expensive and as parents, all kids want them, especially if you're going to a game or going out to um, any type of events to watch games, friends house or whatever, you want to represent your team, right? And here living in Philadelphia, my team is Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make some merch paraphernalia so that you can represent um, your team the best way you want to do. You can be creative, you can put whatever you want on your jersey or your shirt and um, you can express your creativity and express yourself and your show your team spirit guys. We're going to be using some white vinyl and I'm going to be using some green vinyl for the Eagles. Not sure what I'm going to do with the green vinyl yet but we're definitely going to use the white vinyl and we are also going to be using our uh, our transfer paper, our photo transfer paper that we use to make our Goku. So make sure you have your transfer paper on deck and we're gonna be using, putting everything on a next level t-shirt, a black next level T. It's gonna look great. Well, I hope it's gonna look great. My fingers are crossed, guys. So uh, this is the first time I'm doing it, so we'll see how it turns out. We're also gonna be using our Cameo, our Silhouette Cameo 3. So if you haven't purchased your Silhouette Cameo 3 yet, Make sure you purchase your Cameo 3 using the link down in the description below. Everything that I'm using in today's video is going to be located. All the links are going to be down in the description below. If you are ever purchasing anything on Amazon, please use my link. It helps the channel out a lot. If you're purchasing anything, I'm the Home Depot affiliate now on Home Depot. It has nothing to do with this video. Please use my Home Depot link down in the description below, guys. I greatly appreciate it. So let's get into it, guys. I'm going to show you guys exactly what we're doing so you guys can follow along. I launched... Um, a browser, opened up to Google, images, clicked on images right here, and I'm going to type in Eagles logo PNG. All right, Eagles logo PNG. Um, then I'm going to go over here to tools, and I'm going to go to size, click the large size, and uh, this looks like a large size, and you can tell it's uh, a PNG because the background is transparent. But what will really determine whether it's PNG or not is when you go to save it. So I click on it, drag it a little bit, um, make sure, and then I double click, and then go save image as. Now when you go to save image as, you have to see if at the, if at the back, it's a see, see where it says format, file format, it says PNG. So you know that it's the right type and the background is transparent. So you go ahead and save that um, to desktop. I should have actually renamed it something else but that's okay. So go ahead and close this browser out. Now I can go ahead and launch my Silhouette Studio. While Silhouette Studio is launching, guys, you just go ahead and we know that we are using the cutting mat size, um, 12 by 12. So I'm just go ahead and put this on a 12 by 12 cutting mat. And we're gonna go ahead and grab that image. Image open, and it's on the desktop. Fill it off for Eagles. Okay, there it is right here. Boom, grab that, make it bigger, make it the size that I want it to be because I measured out my, um, my design. Okay, so right now it looks like our image. I'm gonna grab my ruler real fast. Oh, big accident. Grab my ruler real fast. Have my shirt right here, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and measure out the size that I want my image to be. Philadelphia Eagles, I want it to be about 11 inches. 11 inches sounds good to me, 11 inches. Okay, so this is gonna be 11 inch Eagle. So at the bottom right here in the Silhouette Studio, you can see the numbers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this 11, all right? A Little bit over 11 is okay. So we're just gonna go ahead and take advantage, make this 11 right here. But for me, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate this because I want to do some other stuff. 
So I want to put some of these on the sleeves also because we got more room on our cutting on our um, paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and measure out how big I want it to be on the sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and make this about four inches, three to four inches. I'll make it four. Four for the sleeve. Three is good. And why don't I just go ahead and make another one, duplicate, make another one and duplicate this because we're taking advantage of all the space. Okay, so this can't fit. This one can't fit, but I can make a female's t-shirt. So why don't I just go ahead and make this one instead of 11, I'll make it something like a seven. All right, so it can fit. All right, boom, got that. Go ahead and duplicate this. Make this one a little smaller. Make it like a two, all right? Two and a half, something like that. Duplicate that. Move them all around so that they fit. All right, boom, boom. Everything is inside of this boundary right here. All right, everything is inside of that. All right, so we're gonna make our paper 12 by 12. 12 by 12, okay, so. You see this is outside, so you make sure that's inside. Make sure all that is inside of your area, guys. Offsets for everything, because the Cameo has to cut out all these different shapes, so make sure everything is gonna get an offset. Actually, I should do this part. Yeah, no, that's fine. Everything's gonna get an offset. All right, so as of right now, this is cool, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and print this out. Guys, one thing I forgot to tell you guys to do, and I'm sorry, but it happens. It's gonna happen to you guys. Um, I almost made, sent this thing to print and instructed you guys to send it to print without putting on our registration marks. Registration marks is the most important thing that you do when you're having your Cameo cut something out, all right? So we gotta turn on our registration marks. So in the Cameo studio, go over here and turn on our registration marks. See, style registration marks is off. We have to turn it on, all right? So now that give us, gives us even more of a restriction. Might have to delete some of these birds, guys. All right, so see right here where this border is, this line right here within the written strategy. Everything has to be inside of that line. So this eagle right here has to be inside of this line. You can see that it's barely just making it right here. And we're gonna go ahead and push the boundaries of the Cameo and see if it can it can it can go ahead and print that stuff out. I mean, cut that stuff out with everything being so close together like this, all right? So we're going to go ahead and push the boundaries and see if we can get everything in there. Let's try to see if we can fit it all. Probably not going to fit everything in there. Probably have to delete some stuff, but let's see. Okay, it looks like everything's in there. Everything is in here, in here. Got this in here. This over here, barely that much space, but everything for the most part that we want is inside of the lines with the registration marks. All right, we got space on this side, all right? Space, space right here, got room right here, room over here. Yeah, everything is in there. So now we're gonna go ahead and send this thing to print, guys. All right, so now that we got everything situated, we're gonna go over here and um, hopefully it finds my printer. I'm gonna tap my printer one time so it comes on. And let's see, I think I'm low on printer ink too. So Workforce 7720, uh, media quality, quantity rather, that's one. And I'm gonna turn, go ahead and turn the quality up to best. See, I have the low ink thing going on. Black ink, geez, okay, that's gonna be a problem. We'll see. We will see, guys. Let me send it back over. All right, put that back on best. All right, media type, auto select. And let me see when I, what happens when I press print. It's gonna give me a little preview, guys. All right, see we got our preview right here and it shows everything. So that's a good sign, guys, that's a good sign. So the printer is gonna go ahead and do its thing and print this thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and let it do it because it looks like everything is on the page. And that's what we wanna check. We want to check this um, that everything is in this area. 
Okay, paper size and style and type in cassette one does not match. We're gonna go ahead and press done. And we're just gonna go ahead and let it print it out. All right, go ahead and let it print out. Fingers crossed guys, cause I don't have that much ink and I don't think this is gonna, you know, print out good if it, if uh, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> So let's go ahead and let it do its thing. It's gotta have the registration marks on there. High quality print. And let's see how it comes out, guys. So far it looks good to me. Ah, oh, I messed up. All right, I'll tell you where I messed up. See this registration mark right here? that registration mark has to be inside of this area. So that's where I messed up, guys. As you can see, and this always happens, as you can see, this registration mark right here is cut off. But we're gonna try to print this out anyway. We're gonna try to see if the Cameo can do it anyway. But um, let me make another one and adjust it. But so far, it's looking good, it's looking all right. The colors aren't exactly on point, to be honest with you, because this green is a tad different from the green on the computer. But we'll keep it and we'll print out another one. But let me make the correction first, okay? So now let me go ahead and correct so the registration marks are inside. So to do that, go registration marks, go to down here and we have to go to the right one and we have to put the right one on the inside. And that's gonna mean that, oh, we still made it, all right? The right one's gotta be on the inside of that line. So I actually think it needs to be inside just a bit more to make sure it prints out good. So that means we're going to have to shrink this one down just a tad bit. All right. That's what it is. It is what it is. Got to move this over just a tad. And we have enough space to move this over a tad also. And everything else should be good. Everything else is good. It's inside, these two are still inside. So guys, like I said, man, sometimes you have problems doing this stuff and you just gotta deal with it. Deal with the problems that you have and move on. See, this one is on the line, so I'm assuming this one can be on the line too and it'll still print out. This is on the line, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send it over again and see how it prints out, guys. Let's see. All right. Disappointment. Guys, the other registration mark still did not print out. Definitely running low on ink. Ah, still didn't print that one line down going out here. Oh my gosh. And we can't print anymore because our ink is, it left like a smudge mark and that's how you know your ink is running out guys, running low so um, I'm gonna have to do it one more time and maybe we can get a clean print. Put the registration marks all the way in. All right guys, so our last one is printed out. This is the last hope. I see that it did print out that registration mark that goes this way. So let's hope that it's a clean print guys because I'm all out of ink. Gotta go buy some more ink. Gotta sell one of these shirts. All right, so. So far it's looking good. I don't see any smudge marks or anything. And this is definitely gonna be our last batch of ink, guys. So let us take this out carefully. And out of ink, but guess what, guys? We got a perfect print. All our registration marks are on there, so we are good to go. It was meant for you guys to see this thing. It was meant for you guys to see the struggles that I go through. It was meant for you guys to see the struggles that you might go through. So let's continue on. If anybody ever tells you that they never had problems with their printer, they're lying. They're lying to you. Printing is one of the most difficult things you can have to do, especially when you're dealing with different size papers and stuff like that. So these issues are going to happen. Just like the embroidery issues, these issues are going to happen, okay? But ultimately, we got this done. So let's get back into what we're doing right here. Okay, so next thing we have to do before we get the Silhouette Cameo 3 to cut this 
these individual designs out so that we can lay them perfectly onto the shirt and press them on is we have to create offsets to give the cameo something to cut. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an offset for each of these, each of these different elements, all right? We got our first thing is first, we gotta keep these um, elements exactly in the place that they're in, okay? This is gonna be hard. I've never tried to create, you know, four offsets um, at the same time. I've never tried to do this before, so let's see how it works out. It should be fine. So you go over here inside the software and you go ahead and we go ahead over here to this offset tool, open it up. Might take me a little while, guys. Might fumble with this, but you're gonna know how to do it. So we grab uh, the thing that says select trace, uh, select trace area, and we go ahead and hi we're gonna highlight all these birds right here, guys. Highlight. Make sure we got everything highlighted. Make sure we got everything highlighted. And right now we want to get the outer edge and everything, guys. So we're gonna. All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna trace the outer edge of the um and leave the white out. All right. So. Let's see how that works out. Boom, trace outer edge. And then we're gonna go ahead and move this and see what we got. So we got the outer edge, that's good enough. Command Z, put it back in place. All right, now we are ready to put our design onto our Cameo and cut it out. I'm excited, are you excited? Make sure we got this outer edge. Got that. And make sure we got this outer edge. Wait, how about this one? Got all the outer edges, guys, so we're good to go, guys. Just so you guys know, I always do this stuff on the fly, so it's never rehearsed, so I'm always running into problems because I don't practice. Because when we do things in real life, we don't practice, we just do it, right? So this is what we're gonna do, this is what we're gonna, but one thing's for sure, after we do this, it's gonna be dope. So let's load up this design. All right, guys, let me move the T-shirt out of the way and take our sticky stuff off of our thingy thing thing and now we're going to lay this on here perfectly like we did like we normally do um, so we're gonna go on this edge right here gotta lay this down with precision guys put it on the edge right there that looks good perfect perfect all right got that laid down Got that laid down. Now it's time to put it into our cameo. All right, still flat. Go ahead and open up our tray. Extend our little feetsies thing to give the cameo some assistance. This one right here broke on mine. Like this video if your comment if, you, if one of your cameos feet broke. Anyway, so boom, put it in there. Load it up. Load it up. Nice and good. Go back over to our design in the computer right here. You guys can't see the screen. It's kind of, yeah, you could barely see it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and send this to cut. All right, so I'm gonna hit send. And we have paper medium selected. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you see where the dark lines are. That's where the cameo is gonna cut. It's sinking, it's ready at the bottom here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the, uh, I'm gonna lower the speed down a little bit and I'm gonna put the force up. Um, I'm gonna put two passes as a matter of fact. All right, that's what we're gonna do. All right, so now, ready? Press send and let's see what the cameo does. Now it's reading for registration marks. It found one registration mark, found the other registration mark right and now it's going to find the last registration mark i hope this comes out good guys because i don't have any more uh you know this is like a first one and done type of deal guys so let's see what the cameo does and in case you're wondering my settings I have copy paper medium 20 pound selected cut settings on a cameo. First, the wheel little things on two, the speed is on eight, the force is on 15, and passes on two. All right, so that's what my cut settings are. Um, but I don't know how it's going to come out yet. We'll see. All right, now it's going over the big eagle right here. 
I'm making sure nothing is obstructing the bottom part, like this part right here. Make sure it's not hitting anything and stuff like that because you don't want to hit anything while it's cutting, all right? So those are the things that you wanna uh, watch out for. And I'm also making sure that this wheel is rolling along that side nicely and it's not becoming detached or anything like that because this is a lot of going back and forth for this wheel. And, and if you guys saw my Goku design, this wheel got loose and the paper, the cutting mat started sliding all around. So uh, these are just things, just some things that you want to um, watch out for, guys, when doing these, this stuff. All right, so it looks like it's cutting around the edge of the eagle pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. But it's going to do two passes, so I'll be with you guys back. You guys don't need to watch the whole thing. I'll be with you guys after it does its second pass, and we'll take this thing out of the cameo and see how it came out. As you guys see, it says unload, so I'm going to go ahead and unload Press the unload button on the Cameo and take this off. And let's see if it comes off greatly and smoothly. All right, nice and easy, nice and easy. Matter of fact, I should use a scraper tool to make sure it comes off because it might stick to the paper, guys. And just as I thought, it is sticking to the paper. And that's not that's not a bad thing, it's, it's all right if it sticks to the paper. You just want to make sure that you can get it off nice and easily, all right? And it doesn't rip any of the design, all right? So you can see that one sticking to the paper already and different parts of the other one sticking to the paper. And it, that just means it didn't cut all the way through. And that's okay. That's okay, all right? Boom. See, that part stuck to the paper. This part didn't stick to the paper. So I'm going to have to go ahead and... Squeeze this up, get this up nice and good all together because you want to make sure the whole image comes up and not just parts of the image, all right? Um, if it sticks to the paper, you want the whole thing to be stuck to the paper, not just parts of it, all right? So that's why I'm doing it like this now. So I got my spatula tool and I'm just going along the bottom to get it off of this paper. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, get all the elements off and Come right back to you guys, getting all the elements off. Comment in the comment section down below if you're not going to use a cutting mat. Comment in the comment section down below if you like this video and you um, dig what I'm doing right now. This is just, you know, little minor technicalities, you know. All right, so we got it off. Make sure you clean off the access debris on your cutting mat if there is any. And replace the... Um, non-stick thing on your cutting mat so your cutting mat doesn't get dirty like mine. All right, so I always do that. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and get our pieces off one at a time. It's kind of like created perforated edges, so this should be relatively easy to, to separate, guys. But the main thing that you wanna be assured of, you wanna make sure that you don't damage your image, all right? So just be careful of that. Like these parts right here, all right, just be real careful and just get it off, all right? All right, so we got a little edge right there. That's okay, it'll come off. You'll see how it comes off. Just go ahead in the middle here, you can grab some tweezers or something, and that just, those little pieces right there just come off. Grab some tweezers or get your fingers up in there and just peel it out, little small pieces. All right, and just get all the rest of them out. But just uh, rip it with confidence, knowing that the back piece is coming off, um, which I didn't show yet. So we got two of them off, and we got to get these little ones off, which really don't matter because they're just extras, but I want to have them because it's going to set the shirt off. All right, guys, so the next step in this journey is we are going to create some numbers because all jerseys have numbers on them, right? So we're just going to go ahead back into our Silhouette software and... We're just going to go ahead and create a number one, and uh, we're going to use a green to create that number one. And that's basically all we're going to do. You guys should know how to do that. But just in case you don't, I guess I should show you since we are doing a project together. And um, doing a project with you guys is fun. I like doing projects with you guys. You guys make everything fun. Okay, so I got my shirt right here. All right, and I'm going to take my ruler. Uh, I think I'm going to make my... Number one in the back. When I when I do this stuff, I visualize 
the one being there. I want to make, I'm going to put my name right here on the shoulder blades and I'm going to put the one right below it or something like that. Or maybe I'll put like a 94 or something like that. Yeah, 94. I'm putting 94. All right, so I'm going to make that 94 about nine inches big. All right, so we come back over here to our designer thing. We're going to close out the eagle. We're just going to say new project. And then we're going to go ahead and pick that. And we're going to go 94. I'm going to highlight it. Wait. I'm going to highlight it. And we're going to change this to impact. Impact. Enter. And now that we have it, we're just going to color it in. Press that right there. I'm going through this part real fast, guys. So we said we're going to make it 9 inches. Make it 9. 9 inches tall. So that's about 9 right there. Down a little bit. Oh, we got to get that 9. All right, that's enough. You know what? That's fine. And then, okay, so we got a 9. And we got to take this off because we're not even working with this stuff anymore. So go over here and take off our reveal. We're gonna reveal right here. So now we just got the cutting mat. There's another border right here. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Not gonna worry about that right now. Okay, cool. So boom, we got our 94. Now we're gonna go ahead and do my name, W-A-D-E. Same thing, same thing, highlight it. I'm double clicking. I'm highlighting, I'm double clicking, impact, boom, got the wade, gonna make that big, it's gonna go across the shoulders, and guys, you know, it at this point, it's your design, so you can like pretty much do whatever you want, 94 goes on top of that, right, 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 and can I like center this stuff, so you go like that, then you like put it like, Make it line up like that, boom, align Wade. Okay, so now you got the number and you got the name and the number looks kind of big. So, and you want it to, you want this to be like, you want it to look nice, all right, is what I'm trying to say. So, there you go. That looks more like natural, if you will, all right. So I'm gonna put that right there. The number portion of it is about seven inches now and that's okay that's okay the height is 7.849 inches and that's all right all right you don't want to like overdo it maybe i should bring this down a little bit i don't know maybe that look will look better with some separation about right here all right because the weight's going to go on the shoulders and what i could do is i can actually make the letters in the weight separate it a little bit more I can add a space here, a space here, and a space there. And maybe that would make it better. Just thinking of different design elements or something. There's another way to do that, by the way, guys. All right, so now that like, that looks more football-y, right? Looks more like foosball. So now, all right, so now we got that situated. And when we're printing stuff out, vinyl this time we're using vinyl we're just going to go ahead and highlight the whole thing and then flip horizontal because vinyl prints differently and we all know that so we're just going to go ahead and send and don't forget we were doing copy paper medium so now we're going to go back to our htv setting i got mine all the way at the bottom right here and um size of easy read htv mine is set to blade depth five speed four force 13 passes one and now let's get ready to load our cutting mat, placing this John upon our cutting mat. We're working this together, guys. We're doing a project together. Shiny side always goes down when you're doing vinyl, shiny side down. So I roll my vinyl up a little bit and it helps me get it on the cutting mat very cleanly. Pay attention to where the arrow is. My arrow is right here and you put it in this corner Boom, shiny side down. Line it up just like we line up everything. Boom, boom, on the edge. And then now that it's rolled up, I can just go ahead and boom. Nice and perfect. All right, turn back on our Cameo because our Cameo 
has been turned off. All my little eagles are falling off the table, guys. So, go ahead and load this up in the Cameo. All right, so load this up in the Cameo. And I'm going fast uh, with this part, guys, because you guys should be experienced as far as this part is concerned because I've been making Cameo videos for a while now, and you guys should be Cameo experts. So we're just gonna turn our heat press on. So guys, one thing you might wanna take a note of while our Cameo is heating up is the green, or the supposed to be green, on this is supposed to match this, but it doesn't match. Um, so you might wanna get the correct materials when you're doing something like this, but just for the sake of showing you guys, I just wanted to make this video and I'm just using what I have. So that's one thing you want to make a note of. And one thing that might be, one reason why it might be beneficial to just use um, ink and more uh, soft stretch transfer paper as opposed to using vinyl and mixing the materials if you can't find a vinyl that's just the exact same color of whatever it is you're trying to match, okay? So that's what you want to take a note of, okay? All right, guys, so here comes a fun part. There's going to be two parts to this press. All right, we're going to press our uh, the easy part first. We're going to do the easy part first. I'm laying the back of the shirt down. Actually, you know what? Let me grab a pillow over here so everything can be nice and even since I have a pillow now. I didn't used to have a pillow before, but I have a pillow now, so I'm going to use it. So I'm going to put the pillow inside of our shirt guys you guys should i'm going to do a tutorial show you guys how to make one of these you guys don't have to actually have to buy it on amazon but if you do buy it on amazon or anything i talk about in this video links down in the description below all the links of everything i use to make this video down in the description below please use my amazon link i encourage you it helps the channel out a lot it helps me out a lot and i greatly as always appreciate it all right so i got my pillow up in there I'm eyeballing this, making sure it's nice and in the center. You know, looking at it. Cool. I'm going to hit it one time, get rid of the moisture real fast. All right. Good enough. Now lay this on here. I'm going to eyeball it, put it where I want it to be. That looks about right in comparison to the shoulder blades. And. Boom, looks good right here. I'm gonna go ahead and press this on, guys. And one thing about Easy Weed, size or Easy Weed, it doesn't take long for it to press onto the shirt, adhere onto the shirt. Watch this as I take it up. It's already on there nice and easy. All right, so I'm gonna get my Teflon sheet right behind me here. And I'm going to give it a full press for 15 seconds. And then we're going to deal with the front part, which is the fun part, the part that we all came to see. That on there nice and good, guys. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, like I wish I should. That looks dope. What we have to do to our eagle, guys, to prepare it is we have to remove the back layer from the top layer. But once we remove the back layer from the top layer, it is going to start to curl up, as I learned when I did my Goku design. So we want to make sure everything is ready and we're ready to just lay this down and put it onto our design. So we're going to put our shirt in place before we even peel this up, okay? So let's put our shirt in place in the direction that it's going to go on the heat press. The front. I'm going to put it in the front. I'm going to go ahead and put our pillow up in there, up in the join. All right, got our pillow up in there, and we're going to put the, uh, we're, we're even going to go ahead and press all the air out already to get rid of the air portion. Got this chair over here, let me move it to the sides in my way. Boom. Eyeballing that, bring it in, in the center. And we're going to hit it off one time to get the moisture and the air out. All right, get the moisture out. And now we're good to go with that. All right, this is gonna be hard, guys, just in case I need to use it. Got my heat tape on deck, just in case I need to use it when I'm putting it on the shirt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to get a corner here with my nail, if I can. Oh, that was easy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and separate this right here. And you see what we're left with? We're left with a really, really, thin 
thin layer. See how it separates? Left with a real thin layer. And this is the part, like I said before, where you want to be careful. You can use your scraper tool to help separate the parts. It's probably even better to work from this part coming this way. It's going back together. But you just want to make sure you don't rip anything, guys. Let me grab my scraper tool. The scraper tool comes in real handy to help separate. See that? See how it helps just helps separate everything? This scraper tool is dope. So I would say must have scraper tool is a must have. All right. And now look how easy that just peels right off of there. Nice and easy. We got it off. We're going to immediately go over here and put it on our shirt. I put this down about right here, guys. Eagle goes right here. See how it starts to curl up? Because of the heat. So we're going to have to use our tape, our heat tape. All right, we're going to have to use our heat tape. And that's okay. That's okay. We just got to work fast. Because the longer we leave it on here, the more it starts to curl. I can't find the edge. Okay, I'm just going to use my teeth right here. Cut a piece off. Put this right here. Tape it onto the shirt. This heat tape, man. It's clutch. Clutch. The heat just makes this thing just start to... Sheesh. Yeah, very hard to press this on, guys. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure you have all the edges down and kind of like lay this Teflon on top of it. This is the hard, this is hard. This is really tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's challenging because this thing is just fighting me. They're actually the best thing you can do is just use a bunch of pieces of heat tape. That's the best thing you could do. And that's what I'm going to do. Tape all the edges. It's, this part right here almost makes this material not worth working with because, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have, um, maybe I shouldn't have um, warmed the shirt up. I don't know what it is, but the results are so good when you use this stuff. The results are so good, but it's kind of difficult to work with. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so now... If I lay it down like this, and you guys will see what I'm talking about in a second. Lay it down, you gotta come under the edges and get this part down. Get the edges down. Make sure it lays on top of there. Got a top part needs to come down. This looks like it's flat. This and this needs to be flat. And it appears that everything is flat now. Got an edge right here. All right, it appears that everything is flat now, guys. So I'm just gonna press this and we should be good. We should be solid, all right? Fingers crossed. Lay it down and press it. Onto the shirt, onto the shirt, onto the shirt. Get you guys a close up. And this is a full 30 second press. I did a 30 second press for this. Let me look and see what's going on with it. Crazy. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Got the Eagles joint on there. We can go ahead and take off our tape if we want. I'm gonna wait till it cools off and then I'm gonna take it off. But this is dope. Could have been down a little lower but let me go ahead and take my heat tape off because I'm tired of looking at it on here. Gotta take that off carefully though. But guys, look at it. Looks good. Let me focus a little bit. Focus a little bit. Take the heat tape off. Oh. That messed it up a little bit. All right, so we gotta wait till this cools off to take the heat tape off. 
We can't do that because that just that would butchered it. That just butchered butchered one corner, guys. So let me take it all off, and this is a good experiment for you guys to see how this works. All right. So this is good for you guys to see. You know, I'm your test dummy, guys. So I got the heat tape on here, and I peeled off a little part right here, and as you can see, it started peeling off. So you gotta gotta be careful using this heat tape. So, but you guys can see the quality that you get with this stuff. But now the hard part is, I think I put too much heat tape on the design. But the heat tape is not supposed to come up like it's not supposed to bring the design up. I put too much heat tape going over too much of it, so I gotta slowly try to get this stuff off. Gotta be careful. It's almost not working with, not worth working with. But one thing is good, like, this is good for pictures, I guess, um, if they're still doing it, like, what uh, what bring, comes to mind with when using this, um, this type of material, soft stretch, is rest in peace shirts. Sad to say, but, you know, funerals are big money, and when somebody dies, I guess, if their family members or somebody wants, like, rest in peace shirts, you can offer that service, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, that's reality, guys. Um, I'm gonna make some money doing that, or you know, his and her shirts or something like that. Let me get this one first. Stuff like that. It's always money to be made in this. Let me get the rest of this off, and I'll be right back with you guys, and I'll show you guys the mistakes here. All right, so it came out, looks good. I'm still gonna press it one more time. So let me press it one more time real fast. And I'm gonna show you guys the final results and everything and tell you guys my recommendations and my thoughts and opinions because I see some mistakes right here that um, it's kind of upsetting because I, I like stuff to be perfect, but when you do stuff on a fly and you don't practice or anything, this is what happens. Like you might get one or two shirts that mess up. It's not perfect. You know what I mean? But it's up to you guys whether you want to take on this responsibility of doing this type of stuff or not. You know, it's very rewarding. You can make a lot of money. And you can, the best part about it is you can customize shirts and make whatever it is that you want to make. There's no limitations on what you can make. All right, so that's the good part about it. And why I recommend that every mother should own one of these. See, this is our paper that we peeled the design off of. All right, so I'm gonna take this up and show you guys what we got. All right, boom. See, and that made it sticky, warmed it back up again. And it even brought some of it up. One thing I will tell you guys, um, when you press this on, just like you said, when you, well, just like you saw just now, when you press this on, it is a cold peel. So you gotta wait till it cools off before you just go ahead and rip the Teflon off. Like you saw me just rip the Teflon off and it didn't want to come up. It wanted to take the eagle up. So I gotta press it again. And you know, when I made the Goku shirt, it wasn't this difficult. But I'm making it difficult on myself because I'm trying to hurry up and um, do this video for you guys. So gotta pay attention and take your time when you're doing this stuff, all right? One last press. Right. And that's enough. Let's bring it over all together like that. And what I do to cool it off is I kind of like just go like this a little bit. Let it cool off, cool off, cool off. All right, guys, it's still a little bit warm, but I'm hard headed, so I'm just going to go ahead and peel it off nice and easy. And you guys can see the quality. Once again, this is great, great quality on there, nice and good. Um, let me get over it and show you guys. You can see the texture with the lines of the shirt going in. This is where we messed up, where we started peeling off. But this is why I do it, so you guys can know what not to do and know to be more careful. Also, you got a little overlap right here. 
see that little tip right there I don't know if you guys can see that a little tip that flipped over so see all the imperfections but overall it's still just amazing that's why I showed you I want to show you guys this again because it's amazing now we're gonna do the arms all right now guys, as you can see, I have a separate heat press that I like to use for like shoulders and arms and stuff like that. This is actually a cat press. Uh, you don't necessarily need it, so I'm gonna show you how to do it on both of them. Uh, I'm gonna do one sleeve with that one, with the flat heat press and the other sleeve with the um, cat press. So uh, let's start warming this thing up. Same thing applies to the little small eagle. You have to take the back piece off separate it with our nail or something like that and get it separated from the back piece the best way you can very difficult but here we go we got it it's not that hard guys to be honest with you boom here we go easy peasy boom but one thing I will remember Let's try to, okay, let me try this. I'm going to put it on here, but if I put it on here, I can't really, maybe if I, no. If I put it on here, I can't really see see it to, um, this is our Teflon sheet, by the way, if you're wondering. This is a Teflon, a small Teflon sheet. If I put it on here, it's going to be hard to line it up, and I'm trying to avoid uh, you guys can figure out your own tips and tricks, but um, let's go ahead over here to our regular big heat press, and I'm going to show you this method first. I don't really have a method, to be honest with you. I just know where I want it, so maybe I can lay it on the shirt first. That's what I'm going to do. Lay it on the shirt first where I want it, and then press, then put it on the press. All right. So that's a that's something that you could do so it doesn't curl up. There is an idea. All right, so this one is going to go on this sleeve. So we could do the same thing with the chest part. Lay it on there before we put it on the press so it doesn't curl up. So boom, we could even put a piece of tape on there. I'm going to put it about right here on the shoulder and put the, uh, put the pillow underneath it. Right, there's a lot to carry over there. Um, put it about right here. See the crease right here, about right here. Teflon sheet over top of it, and we grab it like this so it doesn't move. All right, let's take it over. I gotta put the camera over there first so you guys can see it, and then I gotta carry it over. You guys like this, right? We're doing this on the fly. On the fly. So there's a tip. The weird tip. Make sure it doesn't move. It's moving. Got to make sure you get some gravity. Whatever you call it. Okay, so see, the shirt's not hot, so it's not moving right now. So that's a good thing. All right, so that, that's, that's the workaround, guys. That's your workaround right there. Make sure you don't get any other parts on there. All right. Make sure our vinyl wasn't getting pressed on the side there. All right. So press this on for a few moments. And you just heard the air come out of the, uh, out of the uh, press there. Should be on there, guys. Should be on there nice and good. And once again, we got to remember it's a cold peel. So that's a full 30 seconds. And we're going to let this thing cool off. You see our whole shirt wrinkled up there. I'm going to have to let this thing cool off. Bring it back over here. So you see the work we're doing, guys? The more intricate the design, the more you charge for it. Boom. On there, nice and good. Look at that. Look at that. Looking good. Small eagle on the shoulder. Now the other one on this shoulder and we're going to lay it on the cap press. All right, so we're going to go over here like so. Let me get a wider angle for you guys. Excuse the arm and all that. 
Put that in there like so. Get that prepped up. Take this apart, remove that from this like we did the other one. All right, this one's a little bit more stubborn. This video is going to be long, guys. Oh, wait. Look at, look, look. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. All right. You guys are probably like, what is he doing? There's nothing on there. This guy's special. All right. I'm gonna separate this. Fast forward through this. Oh, no, we got to separate it. Boom. It's not that hard. Separate them. Debate them. And we got it about right here on the other one. Right here on this one. Looks good to me. Put that on there. This one's starting to curl already. Put that on there. Take it over to the cap press, which is right here. This actually might, see the point of this cap press is you don't need the pillow or anything like that. So I can actually take the pillow out and just lay it on there. But this is gonna be even harder to press guys, to be honest with you. So the other method might be better, to be honest with you guys. Because the cap press, let me show you. I just took it off. Cap press, you just go put it on like that. All right, now it's harder for me to see where it's gonna go. And it's gonna start curling. As soon as I put it on, we'll see. If so, we, I don't know, let me see. All right. Eyeball, see where I'm gonna put it. Put it right here. Boom. Boom. See, it's trying to start curling. Lay it down, slide it this way. And then I slid it this way because the edges were kind of like, I don't know, I can't explain. The edges, the little ends which are kind of trying to come up. So let's do it with the cap press. Hit it off one time. And see which method we like better. I think so far I like this method better. Even though the cap press is kind of like, it's just easier. You know what I mean? With vinyl, cap press all day easier but with this material the other method transferring it and stuff like that that seemed like it worked better for me you know putting laying it down on the shirt first and then taking it over but you know you guys will find a workaround 30 seconds once again a cold peel take it over here over here look at it check it out y'all check it out Check it out, y'all. Check it out. And I'm about to put this this bad boy on and show y'all what it looks like. Show y'all what it look like. It's cool enough. See, I'm hard-headed. Don't be hard-headed like me, guys. Don't be hard-headed like me. Your designs will be messed up. Looking good. Let's put this thing on, guys. All right, so how do you guys feel about the shirt? I think it looks awesome with the exception of one thing, guys. The name on the back, the numbers are way too small. Look at it. The numbers are way too, the number is way too small and perhaps it could have been moved down. The whole thing could have been moved down a little bit, but overall, I think it came out dope. Look at the back muscles though, wow. Yeah, but I think it came out great. Um, I like it. I think it was worth it. And I think you guys should definitely, I think it's a go. What do you guys think for football season? Thumbs up. If it was a home run, thumbs down. If not, I know I made plenty of mistakes in this video, but that's why I made it so that when you guys make this video or make this uh, project, you guys won't make any mistakes. One huge mistake is the color of the um, text on the back and the numbers versus the color of the eagle so that's a huge mistake right there that you guys want to avoid and it'll look 10 times better but i'm still gonna rock it i think it's dope what do you guys think hit or miss got the sleeve right there Ooh, gun show got the sleeve got the other sleeve right here gun show Woo! i think it's dope man you can wear this to the gym 
You know what I mean? You could wear this out to the game. Even if you just did the eagle, the eagle, and the other eagle right here, and the eagle right here, then you could just rock it like that. But with the numbers in the back, it just makes it more like kind of dope and kind of like special or something like that. So you guys can press the numbers on the back. Also, I think it looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Comment down below guys and let me know what you think. Next video, should I do a couple of washes and see how long it takes for this stuff to start fading, the color to start fading? Let me know in the comments down below. Thumbs up this video if you like it. I went through a whole bunch of stuff making this video for you guys, so I hope somebody learned something, guys. Guys, how awesome was that? If you like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Share it with all your friends. You can make clothes for your daughter, your mother, your son, your husband, your wife, wives, you can make son for your husband, t-shirts, wives, you can make son for your, that was weird, anyway, guys, you guys get the idea, like this video, share it, give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you liked this video, guys, thank you for watching, don't forget to visit the merch store at Alan A. Wade, alanwade.com, alanawade.com, and buy some channel merch, make sure you follow me on Instagram at A-Dub Productions, Alan Wade, to, uh, help build my Instagram presence. I'm starting to post stuff on Instagram also. Make sure you go to facebook.com backslash kingadub and facebook.com backslash productions and like both of those pages, guys. I greatly appreciate it. Use my links, all links down in the description below to purchase your silhouette Cameo 3 so you can make stuff like this, guys. It's your boy. Thank you for watching. Back again with more videos. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you later. Peace. It up. Why listen to the rest when you're rockin' with the best, baby? Uh -huh.